Hello, this is Alex Pickard of Simutech Group. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of submitting ANSYS simulations from different ANSYS products to Remote Solve Manager, or RSM, from within the Workbench environment. In this demonstration, I already have Remote Solve Manager set up. We have a series of videos that describe this, including showing a quick demonstration of submitting a Remote Solve Manager job from within ANSYS Mechanical, but this workflow is going to focus on submitting the jobs from Workbench. There are two main ways of submitting jobs to RSM from Workbench. The first is on a simulation basis for a single simulation, and the second is on a project level basis for the whole project. I have a project set up here with a bunch of sample simulations in it, including a static structural from ANSYS Mechanical, a Workbench LS Dyna, an ANSYS Mechanical APDL or ANSYS Classic simulation, a Fluent simulation, an ice pack simulation, and a CFX simulation. All of those are CFD style simulations. The first methodology I'm going to demonstrate is the individual simulation type. There's two ways of doing this within a subset. ANSYS Mechanical has its ability to submit jobs to RSM from within the application, and it uses the ANSYS Mechanical settings when you submit it. The other uh, products we're going to be looking at have a workbench driven rules. So let me start with ANSYS Mechanical and we're going to go to the solution branch of this ANSYS Mechanical system and we're going to right click and go properties. When we click properties it's going to bring up a window to the side and under the solution process which is down at the bottom there's going to be an update option and the update option is going to be typically use application default but we can switch this to submit remote solve manager. Once we do this, we have to choose a solve process setting. And this is referring to the solve process settings within ANSYS Mechanical, which are pre-configured. So I've already pre-configured one of those. As I mentioned, it's also demonstrated in another video from our series of setting up RSM. We're going to choose submit to the Windows cluster. You'll notice there's no other options here, such as number of cores, because that's configured within ANSYS Mechanical. To contrast this, let's look at the CFX uh, system. Here we also have it set to run in foreground, but we can it, switch it to Remote Solve Manager. However, when we do this, we don't just have a choice of a pre-configured setting. We can choose our queue, and then we can choose our job name, how often to get our information, and our execution mode, such as parallel, and running on you know, 16 cores. So this has a little bit more uh, granularity in the settings that can be set from within Workbench, whereas for ANSYS Mechanical, it's using the pre-configured settings from within uh, the Mechanical application. So I'm going to switch these back to the way they were. We're in foreground for the CFX system. The ANSYS Mechanical system will use as a demonstration of submitting the system to RSM. So we can either right click on the solution or on the results. I prefer to click on the results because then it will also retrieve the solution automatically and update results within ANSYS Mechanical uh, when you come back to your computer and you know want to observe your results. So we're going to right click on results and we're going to go to update. This will now package up the job and submit it to the RSM queue. I have a previously cancelled test. Let me remove that. And now we can wait until this uh, job submits. You'll see it in the job monitor and we'll be able to observe its progress and it will automatically retrieve. I'm going to uh, switch to uh, silent mode and try and accelerate the video through the boring parts. Okay, there we go. You can see that I've come back to the computer and the results have been automatically updated in Mechanical. So if I open up Mechanical, all my plots will have been generated already. Now to demonstrate the other workflow where we're going to uh, submit the entire project. So I'm going to clear the results on the solution branch of this Mechanical system. And I'm going to switch the mechanical system to be use application default, my computer foreground mode. 
the reason we need to do this is because when we submit the entire project, it's going to use any settings that we've set in these simulations. And we don't want to nest our RSM jobs. In other words, we don't want to send a workbench project job to RSM, have the job start, and then inside that project, submit the job inside internal jobs to RSM again as well. That would be quite a poor workflow. So we've switched this to use application default my you know foreground mode, my computer. And now we're going to click in the white space of the project. So I'm clicking in between the simulations. And this is going to bring up the properties of the project. And you can see here for the project we've got run in foreground. That's what would happen if I clicked update project here at the top. Instead, I'm going to switch the entire project to submit to Remote Solve Manager. I'm going to choose my RSM queue as Windows Cluster. I'm going to choose my component execution mode as parallel, and I'll run each system on 16 cores. Not that it necessarily needs it. These are all small models. And now we can submit the entire project as a Workbench Archive to Remote Solve Manager. Project is set to update via Remote Solve Manager. Click OK. It'll ask us to save so we can archive the project, and then it will begin zipping up the project and submitting that to RSM. Again, I'm going to accelerate through this because it will take a few minutes. And there we go, you can see that the uh, RSM job has been completed and the results have been retrieved, as well as all the different branches of the results sections um, in uh, the different simulations have been updated as well. So that was an entirely automated process, retrieving results and updating the results items in the projects. Uh, that concludes this video. If you have any questions, please submit them to uh, Simitech support. Thanks and have a good day.